This is an introductory tutorial for how to do Onshape. It's an online CAD similar to Inventor, but you don't need any kind of fancy computer. It can work with Chrome or just about anything else. On the, uh, you'll see this link in the PowerPoint on Canvas. If you go to that link, it'll take you to here. All you do is enter your name, enter your school email address, tell them you're a student, and they will give you an account. They send you a confirmation email, but it's pretty straightforward. Okay, so what it looks like when you get there, it looks like this. To get started, you click Create up here, and then a document. Give it a name. Oops. Click inside. And give it a name. Click OK. And it starts out looking just like Inventor. And that you see your three uh, work planes. So you can click on one of those as your starting work plane. Up here is your sketch. Click on sketch on the front plane. You click the check mark. Here's your cube. It doesn't free rotate that I can tell. Um, but you can still click on it and rotate around. What you're going to do for your first assignment is just create something that has, let's say, four different kinds of extrusions. So I'm going to make something here. Uh, I'm in sketch mode. Whoops. I got to go to my sketch. Oh, here's my sketch. I double click on that. And now here's all my sketch commands. Um, I've got line. I've got squares. I've got circles. Over here, this is important to show you here. This one right here, this drop down has all of the uh, concentric, all of those coincident, all of those geometric constraints that we learned how to use before. So if you need those, you can get those right here. And so if I just take this, I'm going to start right here, make myself a block, a rectangle. Um, and so then you can, here's my dimensions. So I can dimension that. We'll just make it an even number and say 2. Hit Enter. We'll make this one 3. Hit Enter. I can hold down my scroll wheel and move it around just like we did with Inventor. I can roll my scroll wheel and zoom in and out just like Inventor. I'll add a little curve to this. Uh, it even shows you the center of the line. So I can click here. Click on that corner there. That'll give me my circle. This drop down has a trim. So I can trim this. I can trim that. I can trim that. And then I can do extrude if I just want to extrude that. And I can click this corner so that I can see it. This is uh, my depth. So I can put in four inches, check mark, and there's a shape. So that's got two shapes, got one extrusion. So if you want to do four extrusions, I can make a new sketch on this surface. Look at it that way. I can make a rectangle of some kind here. I can then finish that sketch, extrude, click on the thing I want to extrude, click on the corner so I can see it. I can take that. I can then make another sketch, just so that you can understand you can do this also, is I can look at the front, make a circle here. I can line it up. Look at that. Pretty cool. And I think I see, can I edit that right now? Yes, I can. So I can, I can click and enter that right there. Finish my sketch. Now when I go to extrude, I can click my circle. But now I can go up here. So here's my add. I can also do a remove. So that'll let me do a cut. I can actually grab this arrowhead, drag it all the way through so that I cut a hole all the way through. Click my check mark. And there I got something. That's got uh, what, one, two, that's got three extrusions. You could add one more. There's all these different things here. You have revolves. You have sweeps, lofts. Uh, over here somewhere there was uh, circular patterns. Um, so there's, there's holes, shell. So there's all the different things. You got your fillets. Here we can do a fillet on uh, this front corner. Make it uh, 0.25. And that'll give me a little rounded corner there. OK, 
Okay. So once you get all that, you still want to do a multi view. This saves as you go, by the way. So it's saved. So if I go to click right here on this plus sign, here's my create a drawing. Um, and it'll ask you what you want. So I'm going to do an inch. That's what I want. Um, no views. Click OK. And here you have your sheet. Um, oh, I didn't make. Oh, it is. See, it's an A sheet. So that's the size of a sheet of paper, which is good. Um, so then we're going to use this part. I can put it right here. Now I can come up directly above it and click here. I can come over here. Oh, so this is letting you do projective view. So I click on this again. Then I can come over here, wait for it to catch up, click that. And then I can't do an isometric that way, but I can do, I can click on this one, insert view. And I can say that I want an isometric. And that'll put it right here. So there's all my views. You can do dimensioning. So you can dimension these things. I can dimension the curves. And let's see, can I put a mark in there? There's probably something in here somewhere. I'm still learning this stuff as I go. But I can, um, I can put a, that shows me my diameter. So you can dimension all of these things. And so when you get done, you've got uh, a sheet like this. You can do a screenshot into a PowerPoint. Now, one cool thing is what we're going to do something later. So this is what you would put into a PowerPoint to upload to Canvas for me to grade. You do a, just like we've done, you would do the part find a good orientation for it. You can turn off these things, by the way, turn off these word planes, because they're kind of hard to see what you got there. So you can um, zoom in like that. And so I've got my shape. Actually, the other side would be better, because then I can see that. And so you can do a screenshot of this from PowerPoint, and, oops, not that, and a screenshot of this into a PowerPoint with the, with the at proper dimensions and turn that in. One other thing you can do is you can, um, let me see if I can find this here. Oh, right here. Uh, bump, bump. There's a way to, you could share, but you don't want to do that. There is a um, export. Oh, I think we do it from the part studio. Yeah. Is if I right click on it and click export, I can then export it as an STL, which is what you use for 3D printing. I can export it as a step file. If you export it as a step file or a SOLIDWORKS file, you can open that directly in Inventor and it's just like it has everything there that you need. But the STL file later on, uh, a later assignment, I'm gonna have you design something that I can 3D print for a keychain. So then you would do the STL. But that's pretty much a basic one. So that what you're going to do for your first assignment would be to create something like this. Uh, let's get four different things here. You can do some rectangular patterns if you want to. You know, I could put a hole here and go around it. But um, try some of these different things. You can. There are some material. Like I said, I'm still learning this stuff too. But there's a lot you can do. So um, kind of cool. So this is what we're going to work with uh, because... I know most of you do not have Inventor at home.